Hello everyone, I am going to show you how to practice C++ programming using your Android phone. So let's start. Go to Play Store. On the search box, write CPP Droid. CPP Droid. Then search it. And you can see CPP Droid. C or C++ IDE. Click on install. Accept it. Then it will start downloading. So after completing the download, installing is started already. So it is successfully installed. Now I am going to open it. Click open. And some resources will be downloaded as well. So after completing the download, uh, we can see the CPP Droid is already here. And this is editor. And inside this editor, you need to write your code. So there are so many options over here. You can see at the top of the screen. Uh, this is the save option and this option is for compiling the code and then this one is the option for running your code and there are also some other options uh, you can see if you click here you can see the project then inside the project you can create new project you can also open an existing project then you can save it then there is the option for saving the projects and also here you can see some uh, examples over here if you click over here you will see some examples of c++ you can select for beginners or for developers and there are so many examples over here so you can also check these ones also you can uh, search for some tutorials over here just go here and you will see c or c++ you can have tutorials for both of the C or C++ whatever you want you can also learn uh, from this tutorials as well then there is an option that is file you can also create a new file also you can rename the file that you have already created and also you can delete a file over here there are other options over here this is edit so using this edit you can undo any previous actions or you can also redo any previous actions and also there is a search option over here you can also search anything inside your code here is the actions and inside these actions here you can see code complete analyze compile run you can also uh, compile your code using this option also run your code using this option also you have the options over here on the screen as well you have the options inside the actions compile and run so if you need to run your code with arguments then you can also run your code using run with arguments option then you will have options for settings if you go to settings then you will see project settings and app settings so inside the project settings you will have these options and libraries and and inside the app settings you will have these options you can change the theme here just click on choose and there are four themes over here this one is the default and there is also uh, another one is dracula solarized xcode so if you click on any of this and it will be changed accordingly so i'm going to click on hit solarized and if i click on select then the editor will look like this so you can also reset the theme so if you click over here and it will reset to the default theme so also you can change font family font size gutter line number so so if the line numbers is unchecked then 
you cannot see the line number in the left side when it will be checked then the line numbers will be displayed over here so as it is already checked so line number is displayed on the left side of the code and you can also see some other options uh, you can edit it you can update it uh, based on your requirements for the time being i am going to use the default one also some other options over here miscellaneous you can see add-ons uh, manager sign out from dropbox sign out from google drive there are some other options over here and you can also take these ones also there is an option for purchase if you want to get the premium version of this app you can also purchase it so now i'm going to show you uh, how to write code inside the editor whatever the program you want to write you have to write uh, inside this editor so i'm going to write a code that will print hello world so i'm going to write it hash include io stream using namespace std semicolon then hit enter int main second bracket then hit enter i'm going to print hello world so for printing any string for displaying any string you need to use the c out instruction c out then you have to write whatever the string you want to display i'm going to display hello world so if there is an error uh, inside your code then it will uh, show over here and you can see an error expected semicolon after expression and it is also displaying the line number where this error has been occurred so you can see the line number is 5 and also you can see the column number 24 so that means in line number 5 see out hello world here uh, it is expecting a semicolon so i'm going to put a semicolon over here now the error message has gone so in this way you can also uh, check whether there is any error in your code and then you can also uh, modify your code accordingly so now uh, my program is complete now i am going to display hello world so so before running this code you have to do three things first one is you have to save this code so i'm going to click over here and this code is saved now you need to compile this code to compile this code just click over here and compilation started and compilation finished now you have to press the run option and you will see hello world is displayed on the terminal so this is the way you can actually run your code so if you want to take any uh, input from the terminal then you need to write your code accordingly so i'm going to uh, take an integer so i'm going to declare an integer variable int uh, n and i'm going to take this value from the terminal so to input a value from the terminal you need to use the instruction c in so c in so c in then you need to use this one and then then you need to give a variable where the value will be stored so i'm going to give the variable n over here then semicolon now whatever the value i will uh, give as input using terminal then this value will be stored in the variable n 
and also I'm going to print the value of n so c out then n remember for for printing anything you need to use this operator and for taking input you need to use this operator so now i'm going to save it i have already said that you have to do three things to run a code first one is save the code then compile the code and then run the code so i'm going to save it then i'm going to compile it then compilation is finished so now i'm going to run this one using this option so it is running already and you can see the cursor over here and i need to give a value so i'm going to give a value that is five and i'm going to hit enter and then you can see five hello world so and there is no space there is no new line before hello world that means between five and hello world there is no space over here so i'm going back to my code and i'm going to print a new line over here so after printing the value of n i'm going to print a new line so to print a new line just int l that means in the line so again i'm going to save then compile and then run and you can see the terminal give hello 5 then hit enter and you can see the output 5 and the hello world is uh, in a new line so that's the thing you can do you can do whatever you want uh, and you can write the code accordingly inside the editor so you have to remember the things after completing your program you have to do three things to run the first one is save the code then compile the code and then run the code i hope it will be helpful for everyone that's all for today thank you everyone